y'all, I'm Kelly with Pins and Needles Kits, and today we are going to be making the project from our January 2018 box. Um, so our project this month is going to be a little um, reversible fabric basket. <laughs> and we are using Art Gallery Fabrics, and it's a super cute, easy project, and in the box you're going to get um, enough fabric to make a couple of them and you can make different sizes if you like. So we're going to be using fabric from Art Gallery Fabrics. Um, we have their denim, which is really, really nice. It's, uh, I believe, 60 inches wide. This is Love Story, um, and so we've got uh, several pieces here. What you need to do is um, follow the pattern, but you'll cut two of the outside of the basket, two of the lining, two of the top of the lining, and two handles. You'll also cut two pieces of decor bond to bond to the back of the linings. So we'll start with the handles first. So you are going to take the hand, one of the handles and you're going to fold it wrong sides together and press it. And I starched this before I um, got ready to sew. Then you're going to open this back up and you'll fold this, um, this edge, the long edge, into where you creased it and you'll press that. Okay, then you'll do the same thing with the other side. Once you have both sides folded in, you'll then fold that and give it a good press. Then we are going to put this in our sewing machine and top stitch it. And so I have the other one already finished. So what you're going to do is, what I did, I like two, two rows of top stitching on each side. So I stitched an eighth of an inch from the edge and a quarter of an inch from the edge on both sides. And so that's our handles, and then you just put that aside, and we'll be using that in just a moment. So next we're going to put the two fabrics right sides together, and we're going to sew a half inch seam. Once you sew that seam, you're going to press the seam open, and then you're going to, um, so it's going to look like this. Then you'll take your decor bond to your ironing board, and one side is shiny, and so that is the fusible side. So you put the fusible side up against the back of the fabric and then you're going to press that and it, it takes a pretty good pressing to get it to stick. So once you have it pressed, it's going to look like this. And I top stitched on either side of my um, seam. So this is going to be the top of my lining and I have my decor bond on the back and there's my, type, uh, my top stitching. Okay, so um, once you've done that, with both pieces, then you're going to mark a three inch square at the bottom of each piece. You'll also do that on your denim. I don't think I have that one marked yet. <laughs> and then you'll cut those out. Um, that gives you the, um, the depth of your bottom of your basket. Outside pieces and you put those right sides together and you're going to sew a half inch seam down each side and across the bottom. And then you're going to open this up and um, press this open. Now if you um, use your ironing board, it's easy to slide this onto the edge of your ironing board and press your seams open. Then you're going to do the same thing with the lining. You have those right sides together. The main difference on this one is the bottom right here because what you're going to do is sew this all together and then you're going to turn this right side out through this an opening in the bottom of the lining. Okay, so you're going to sew your half inch seam allowances here and then you're going to sew just a couple of inches on each side and leave an opening here. And what I like to do um, when I'm leaving an opening to turn is I like to start out here, sew in and then turn. Same with both sides. And what that does is it, get, it makes this stronger so that when you're turning it you um, don't have to worry about ripping your fabric. It also gives it a nicer edge when you get ready to press it and sew it together. Okay, next you take the openings in the corners and you line up the side seam with the bottom seam and you're going to pin that together or clip it and we'll sew um, about a quarter of an inch seam allowance on, on this particular one and you do this for the outside of the bag and for the lining and you do both both edges. If you want handles on your fabric basket before you sew the lining to the outer bag, you have to put the handles on the outside part of the bag. And so you line up the raw edge of the handle with the raw edge of the top of the basket. And I did mine up from this edge to the seam about a one and a quarter inch. So um, you measure that, put a pin or clip on it, and then just baste it down on each side. So you'll do this um, on each side. And then, um, and then we'll put our bag together. 
once we have the corners um, sewn, we're going to turn the outside of the bag right side out, leave the lining inside out, okay? Then we're gonna put this inside here, and you're gonna line up the side seams of the lining and the outer part of the ba uh, basket and pin it. When you get ready to put this on the machine to sew it, the easiest thing is, is if you can, um, if you can take the tray table off of your machine, it will make it so much easier. For on this particular machine, you have a little button here and you just push that and pull the tray off. Every machine's a little bit different, but as long as you have a machine that has a free arm available, then it makes it so much easier to sew because you can slide the bag onto the free arm and you don't have to worry about it being bunched up all around the machine. You're gonna sew a seam all the way around the top. Once you've sewn all the way around the top, you're going to reach into the bottom here and you're gonna pull that um, outer part of the bag through the lining. And as long as you've left a pretty good size opening, it's pretty easy to turn. Just the decor bond um, stiffens up that lining a lot, so that, that, that's a little bit tricky, but it's, it's really not bad. And um, there's enough fabric in the box that you could make a couple of these. And if you wanted to make different sizes, you could do that as well. Once you've um, pulled it through and pushed all your corners out, you can then take this and hand sew it or you can sew it by machine. If you hand sew it, then the basket would then be reversible. Once you've sewed it together, then you're gonna stuff the lining into the bag, or basket, I guess I should say. And what you wanna do next is you wanna press this top seam nice and crisp. So I'll do that and then I'll top stitch it and we'll be finished. Okay, I've got it pressed and now I'm gonna to top stitch all the way around um, the top of it. Now, one thing I like to do is if you notice this bottom right here, I lay it down on the ironing board and I press a crease into each edge and it makes it stand up nice. The other thing you could do is you actually could press a crease into each of these corners as well. Um, and then it just gives it a lot more um, uh, dimension, I guess. So um, let me stitch around it and then we'll be finished. So um, now I what I did was after I top stitched it, I just turned the um, upper edge over a couple of inches to give it a nice little cuff um, and you can do it where you keep it straight up depending on how you um, want your basket. Um, it's also reversible so I could turn it the opposite way and then the outer cuff would then be the denim. Don't forget to like and follow us down below and also on our Instagram and Facebook.